Got a bird talking to us in that tree right there. Hello. Good morning, everyone. The birds are out, as you can see. That tree is still holding La Luna. We got a different angle this morning. What a spectacular morning. I can feel the sacredness this morning. Hey guys, welcome. Now, there's a massive channel message here to share. Let's get on this message and we're going to speak about today quite a few things. We're tying up a lot of little loose ends as we're gonna have a, an official graduation party to graduate from air, healing with the element of air, working with the element of air, understanding this as part of our quest, as part of our mission work here. Now this is connected to us, our electromagnetic field, our light body expanding as we do purification of body, mind and working with expanding soul our soul with our spirit we're doing all these purification things in order to expand our electromagnetic field and many of us are realizing our connection to our counterpart is from within to without now that doesn't mean that things from without don't reflect back our counterpart within and that's what's happening it's like you know we have this connection to our counterpart within our twin flame okay and for many of you that join, join me here, it's starseed twin flame, okay? And we have this connection within. But without, we see these things reflected back to us that allow us to continue on our path. But the connection's within. The expansion is from within to without. Because what we're doing is we're, we're, we're restoring vector equilibrium. Whereas we are balanced from within to without. Not just without to within. And many of us are just building without. We had to go back to building within. Let's get the message here, okay, guys? The seed. And there it is. There's the connection to seed from seed to egg. Ooh, I love it. The seed of intellectual power. The ace of swords embodies the essence of the thinking mind from which thoughts spring forth as if, as if from nothing. It is the first idea, a neural impulse by nature of the mind. It is all embracing, all wondering, all penetrating, and all consuming. Deadly, yet its power is incredible. The Ace of Swords shines bright with the radiance of the sun. S U N and the sun. That is key. This is a key piece of information, and we're going to keep expanding off of this. What this means for us, what this means for our connection with our counterpart, our electromagnetic field. Thoughts are powerful. It is not one of the most powerful things you have at your disposal. The power to create anything is only limited by your imagination. Thoughts are the wellspring from which all of creation emerges, as creation itself is a thought in the mind of God. So what are you thinking of? What power are you giving to your thoughts and where do you allow your thoughts to take you? Be mindful of your thoughts and your thoughts will be full of mind. And where we're restoring the balances, there's so there's an overabundance of negative thoughts just scattered throughout the world, just running the world. And it was part of this hack and that's why we've been working on cleansing with the element of air, restoring that natural order, the natural balance. We're going to have our graduation party this Friday, everybody. So join us there. Now, this is connected to the most massive message 
channel message I've received in eons in a long time, guys. Let's take a look, okay? Now, this woman, she's holding a crystal. And she's about to fall backwards into that water and create with new patterning. This is the fool we know. And this is the patterning of life. And what this is going to allow us to do is to heal. We're going to heal and we're going to activate with our gifts here in the Seven of Wands. And when we do so, we're about to expand with strength and we're going to realize who we are, that we're more than one thing. We're part of the earth and we're part of the heavens. And we're finding the balance through self. And this is going to allow us to end separateness. And we're going to do so and our lives are going to become very colorful now. The masculine is going to be creating with templates of love now. Patterns of love. True love. Unconditional love. And we're going to create peace from within. The feminine has been working on much of this. Remembering we have both within us. Masculine and feminine. This is going to allow us to restore balance with this new patterning we're creating and expand. And we literally will expand here with the world and the sun. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that new patterning, everything that we're learning and move forward. This new patterning is connected to the subconscious mind and the moon. We're also working with some pretty spectacular feminine goddesses. Demeter here, the goddess of Virgo, the red goddess of the earth, here to help us expand through the earth. And she wants us to connect to food, high five foods in order to heal with. We also have the goddess of water and fertility here to help us create with the flow. In the flow. This is key and look at her little boat. We must remember how to work with the water energies, the mother. We're going to restore belief and faith from within. This is key. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to do it. And this patterning from the Knight of Cups is connected to love. And we need to use love and the bridge of love, the powers of love, the feelings of love to work with our belief and this goddess. And this goddess with our subconscious mind, we're reprogramming things around here. And what we're doing is we're healing from chaos. Our separateness is causing chaos. So we're going to heal from this chaos. And how are we going to do so? We're going to face death and rebirth. We're going to understand we're eternal. We're about to collapse time here. And we're seeing this as we heal and as we find strength. And strength is allowing us to to create the proper shapes we need right now and we're being there for weaker species and we're seeing they're not actually weak we're connecting to the animals and that's allowing us this grand purification and ascension untwisting the patterning so what we're doing is we're lit here guys literally when we're creating with this new patterning with the water energies here the mother we're expanding through the mind with the father. Something's being activated and we're seeing it with the element of air. And remember, we just graduated and we're going to have a graduation party, right? From healing from the element of air. And what this is connected to is we're seeing within the mind how to properly work with the masculine. And the masculine needs to work with the feminine. And this is going to allow us to end worry and disaster here. So what are we going to do? This death and rebirth is connected to growth and life. And remember, channeled messages. All of the seeds of life, the eggs of life are connected. This is connected to us and growth. We're understanding something here to end the chaos. And in the Eight of Cups... We want to end the chaos. We're ready to create the equality. We're ready to make sense of this. And we're doing this with Father Sky. The heavens are calling to us. And Father Sky, we know, is working with the mother and allowing us to cleanse our vitality. Look at this. The mothers are right there. 
And you can see, I want you to see, look at the, these two images and look at what's being activated right here. Ace of Swords, our realizations, they're getting us lit. They're activating us. And it has to do with our intuition and wisdom. And we received this message on our last message. The full moon in Virgo reading. It will be linked down below. We are about to share these two messages within a minute here. It's connected to Merkaba healing on all levels and the unlimited potential. And these, this is what the subconscious mind and the moon and these goddesses are helping us to activate. Merkaba healing. Healing on all levels of being. As I open my heart to unconditional love and allow myself to reawaken the ancient knowledge that lies deep within my cellular memory, I allow the Merkaba to reactivate and promote healing on all levels of my being. The Merkaba has shown up today to inform you that it is the time to fully open your heart and awaken your mind to allow the Merkaba access to your mind, body, and soul, and take you on a grand journey of promoting healing on all levels of your physical and spiritual being. Some more confirmation right there. When the Merkaba is fully activated, you begin your ascension process, lifting your vibration and expanding your electromagnetic field to allow healing on all levels and to help you on a journey of self-healing and self-discovery. Your soul will be accelerated. Guys, our souls are being accelerated. So, this is the geometry we need right here. Two tetrahedrons that make a three-dimensional shape. And it's the Star of David. It was first discovered, and when it was, it was rotating light. That spun at the speed of light. And how we do this, you know, many are not activated. It's because... We need two main things to occur. We need to experience unconditional love and no divine love of self. Without divine love, the Merkaba will only act as a machine and thus have its limitations. To be able to move beyond our limitations, we need to learn to express love of self and universal love. The second is to connect with our higher self, which can only be achieved through awareness of the soul's journey knowing who you are and where you've come from. Access can be gained through stillness and meditation, reading, holistic healing, and teachers, messengers who come in our path, but to name a few. And this um, allows us to also shift through dimensions and access information from our ancestors and prior civilizations and connect with higher realms. We're going to experience an expanded awareness and activated consciousness as we shift our vibration. And it's allowing us to connect to consciously creating our real, our own reality. More confirmation. I love it, guys. The universe is chiming on in. And I, I mean, with all those birds chirping this morning and that beautiful La Luna and the sun coming up. Woo. This is the stuff that makes this world this magical, high vibe place when we see this stuff, right? So, this message is here to tell you that a part of your life feels stuck and needs clearing. And we know we're clearing this because we want our light to expand, our electromagnetic field to expand. And this is key when we're coming together in that two of cups from within to without. This all ties into our twin flame, twin flame paths. So life is about to change as unlimited potential can help you see that you need to move away from issues that are making you stagnant. As you change, you need to clear a path to allow for the new energies to come in. And that's what we're doing. We're clearing the way. We're clearing the way, the pathway, guys. So the unlimited potential template is here to show us that life gives us choices. From a young age, we acquire programs and behaviors through watching others and learning from those closest to us. And that's how we've learned this patterning 
that we're moving away from the old patterning in order to create the new. But the new patterning, we remember, is connected to the water, the mother. So not all of us had a choice to be raised in an ideal world with ideal rules, logic, and behaviors. For some, through habit, it becomes a struggle to do things differently. Choices knowing that habits are made to be broken, to see that life is short, and to live in a way we know to be right. And this is connected to that card that we have gotten within this reading. And we're about to look at, I shed habits that hinder my truth, then I release and renew. Because this has to do with our vitality, our light, our energy, our electromagnetic field expanding. So, choices knowing habits are made to be broken. To see that life is short and we know we need to live in a way to be right. It's time to practice and total and a total acceptance that mistakes are allowed and it is through our abilities to fail and make mistakes that we learn and we remember this mistakes are experience in order to create here but mistakes are not an excuse to stay stuck in victim in victim templates and it's being able to be aware enough to know the difference so the sacred geometry of this is connected to the turncated icosahedron and is one of the 13 Archimedean solids, having 20 regular hexagonal faces and 12 regular pentagonal faces. When the shape is turncated, it ultimately means you are cutting off its corners, edges, or faces, and they all need to be cut in the same way. And this is working with the masculine in order to do this by repairing the feminine, the working with the feminine, not just adding masculine to masculine, no, feminine plus masculine. We restored connection. So this is also connected to the architectural design. And this geometry is the closest thing to the mapping of our DNA, which is definitely key in understanding our genetic coding, forming a double helix. There are two pairs of base molecules working in a rung system holding the DNA together. This geometry is in the shape of a soccer ball and is connected to our DNA as it's the geometry that's the closest thing to the mapping of our DNA, which is both pent and hex in nature. DNA is found within every nucleus of the body. It is a molecule that carries most of our genetic blueprint. Instructions used for functioning and development within our lifetimes. It is the backbone of our genetic coding. DNA forms a double helix. There are two base pillars of molecules working as a rung system holding the DNA together. So we're activating ourselves and that's what we're doing. That's why we're removing things that are not of self so we can activate this dormant DNA. So this means double helix activations for us guys okay and those activations are allowing us to of course we've untwisted things with the masculine and feminine so we become analytical we've activated with our truths our our energy's lit here okay our chakras they're in flow they're in the flow so we're gonna have new visions and the king of wands here has found the strength and he's made the right shape, the shape we need, right? And this is going to allow us growth here in the Seven of Pentacles. And where did we learn how to make this shape? Right here, within strength. And how do we learn how to make it? Father Sky helping us to heal from this Five of Wands chart and create with the feminine and make this shape, the negative tetrahedron, through healing cleansing and restoring our vitality this is the patterning we need right here so we're having these realizations remember with these activations in order to now expand with that patterning and i want you to see here look at the serpent there's more than one there's two of them this is connected to the two of cups this is connected to the eight of cups challenge in order to create that two of cups equality and we're each doing it the masculine and the feminine and it's connected to the lotus being able to blossom through the mud the muck 
and healing from this. So we're going to use our Merkaba and we know this means we've restored, we've restored this here. We are understanding this in order to create this patterning. And this is the patterning of the negative tetrahedron and the positive tetrahedron coming together in order to create movement. And we know, we just heard that activation here. And what this is allowing us to do is allowing us to heal from the five of pentacles. We know our disaster and worry. We're going to heal from that. And look, because with all this healing, we've restored love. We've restored this. So we're going to manifest and we know we don't, uh, I'm not putting wine in my cup to do this, but in old earth we did. Okay. So we're activating the proper patterning here. We need, we're working with the 13 spheres of knowledge. The masculine is expanding the matter, the feminine with the energy and we're sharing it. We're sharing it through the earth and it's connected to this message here. Let's receive it. Now, this god is working with our goddess here, okay? In Aztec mythology, this god of rain and fertility is benevolent and indulgent, working towards the prayers and sacrifices that are offered to him. He was worshipped with fear because although he watered the fields and gave with one hand he could cause floods and droughts and summon lightning with the other. The advice of the dead. Pay attention and weigh forces you wish to put into play. Because they are like the water. It can irrigate, but, it, but in excess it can cause floods. And in absence can cause drought. And that's why we're working with the goddess. Now this is key. God and goddess. Because we know this goddess is of all the waters, lakes, and sailors, as well as the goddess of beauty and fertility. She reminds us, of, reminds us of how development and progress can only be possible if we view life as a benevolent river, a moving event, and not as something static. And we want to work with this goddess with love, and we've received the love card, so we know we're doing this. We've activated this. If we understand this, allow the goddess to bring beauty and adore instead of lightning and storms, okay? And the advice, the advice of the dead, do not, do not fight against the flow you're in. A river cannot be tamed with force, can't be tamed with the masculine. You must surrender to its current and use its strength as if it were your own. That is a key piece of information moving forward here. All right, let's get the rest of this message so we can expand off of it. Now, this is allowing us to have a revision with the element of air and what is true love for us here. And it's not of old, it's of the new. So we're going to shed our habits that hinder our truth and release and renew. And for many of us, it's walking away from relationships that are not in alignment with us. We're going to heal. We're going to repair, we're going to restore, we're going to mend. So we're going on this way and this is activating guru. This is going to allow us to heal from this. And look, I want you to see we're working with Pisces, the oldest sign, the wisdom of the all creation of the energy of the opposites. Now, the opposites uniting and coming apart when it's time in order to analyze it. Pulling it all back together in order to continue to create and expand and understand. So we've done solar plexus healing. We've done sacral chakra healing. We've done healing with the root. We've repaired. We've mended. We've mended with the earth star. And then there's a whole recalibration upwards with the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye and the crown with the soul star. And we're lifted here. And that is what is, we have another goddess here, a red goddess, and we have a red moon behind Guru. And we're becoming our own Guru. But now we're, doing, we're working with the earth. 
We're restoring our principles here on this planet. From the heavens to the earth through us, we'll find strength to expand. And this is connected to the economy, the economy of new earth, the visions of new earth, the truths of new earth, the growth of new earth, the growth of the economy of new earth. And this economy, it's heart-centered. We're, it's no longer monetarily based. It's not based off fear. It's not based off suffering. It's not based off sadness. No more. So what are we doing on our spiritual quest? We're expanding this patterning with spirit. We're surrendering in the hanged man for the economy, what no longer serves us. We're not going to be a virus. We're not going to be a bunch of consumers. We're not going to be living in the negative and constantly expanding with the masculine. We've restored connection to the feminine. We're restoring balance. We are the cure we are looking for, okay? Us. You understand this. We've done solar plexus healing. Our crown is getting the light. So our principles are now connected to the heavens. This is massive. And that means we're on this universal expansion. We're understanding it. And the whole goal is to be on it and not allow humanity be, to become extinct. We're going to keep on this universal expansion so we do better and we expand with it. And expanding with it is understanding the Ten of Wands. It's understanding it's time to resolve, free ourselves from the cage, be the phoenix rising from the ashes and expand. And we've connected to our patterning here, the tree of life, universal patterning. We understand. We understand because we understand this. So we're going to be able to now transmute all of this and restore balance for the collective with the collective. Because look, look at those two tetrahedrons have come together. We've restored our faith and belief and why because we had a revision with air and we allowed ourselves to heal from our heartbreak we looked at this we looked at what this meant we allowed ourselves to heal from this restore the positive charge we acted on it with the masculine acted on this we found the strength to do this we found the strength to allow ourselves new visions and then we activated our truce this allowed us to add the positive charge remember this sword is a confirmation right there from that noise you just heard in the background this sword is positive and negatively charged we have the positive charge we added it to the negative now here we're working with the queen of cups and she's allowing us to work with this energy as well as we know this. We're expanding here and we're expanding from within. Now, let's expand from without now. Let's receive our messages. See what's going on. 